It's Dr. Brian Heberlin here with Lexington ENT and Allergy, and I want to discuss a procedure that can help improve some people's ear function. Uh, this is called a Eustachian tube balloon dilation procedure. So many people have Eustachian tubes which don't open or drain the ear or ventilate the ear as well as it should. Our Eustachian tubes are a natural tube that we all have that goes from the back of the nasal passages to underneath the eardrum. And whenever we swallow or chew, uh, our eustachian tubes temporarily pull open for just a split second. And that helps equalize the air pressure under the eardrums. So under the eardrum should be filled with air. If the eustachian tubes don't work well, there's a suction pressure that develops in that space, which we call the middle ear, which is underneath the eardrum. And that middle ear negative pressure pulls the eardrum down or it pulls fluid into the space. It can also cause fluid and infections to develop sometimes. And so these are the reasons why young kids get ear infections because their eustachian tubes haven't opened as well and, and enlarged as well as they should. But in sometimes adults continue to have those problems and don't grow out of it. The typical way we treat this is by placing ear tubes over and over and over again. Sometimes the eardrum will have to get uh, reconstructed or rebuilt with a procedure called a tympanoplasty to help uh, when the tubes are either unsuccessful or a hole develops from recurrent tube placement. Um, a somewhat newer technique is where we can put a balloon up through the eustachian tube and dilate that eustachian tube. So you're really trying to fix the root cause of the problem rather than just place an ear tube through the eardrum to kind of uh, get around the problem. The eustachian tube balloon dilation is a fairly simple procedure. Uh, in some cases it can be done in the office, but I prefer to do it in the operating room under some anesthetic. It's just much more comfortable in that way. But it's all done through the nose. So we go in through the nose, we put a little balloon up the eustachian tube, we inflate that balloon, we hold it there for two minutes, we deflate that balloon, and we remove it and we do it on the other side if that's necessary. And so um, the recovery is really fairly easy, the pain is fairly minimal, the risks are low. Um, so the main risks of doing that surgery are it may not work, it may not open the eustachian tube as well as you'd like. Most of the studies show about a 50 to 70 percent success rate with the surgery. So it's certainly not perfect, but it's far better than what we've had in the past. The other risks to doing the surgery, you can make a eustachian tube too open, and we call that a patchless eustachian tube. So that's unlikely. Uh, but very unlikely, but the eustachian tube can be too open and if it's too open it also gives people a, a hollow or an echoey feeling or they may even hear their own breathing when it happens. So that's certainly something that we don't like to see, but fortunately it's very, very, very rare with eustachian tube dilation to have that as a, as a problem. Um, you can have a little nasal irritation from going through the nose with the scopes and cameras to do this, but Mostly, those are the main risks associated with the procedure. So it's something new and exciting. It's been able to help a lot of people, and it's something that we offer here at Lexington ENT and Allergy. Thank you. Appreciate it.